Fool, I remember I blew my nose on a Kleenex, not a napkin, a Kleenex. <laughs> I opened the wrap, my dad, bing, she gay, gay. <laughs> <laughs> he ripped me up when he saw a Band-Aid on my body. He's like, please don't dirt because someone's gonna <laughs> me. What? <laughs> someone's gonna <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Careful Boys. Today we have Jesus back with us. Yes, sir. Welcome back, little thing. This is not a thing. Welcome back. It's back. I uh, let's compare. Yeah. Stick sizes. No, 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 no. Careful, boys. Careful, boys. Careful, boys. Wait, I gotta get hard first. Uh, yeah, dude. I, dude, I walk around hard. Okay. Oh. Turn off the AC. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's compare the experience. Yeah. Of. Asian illegal immigrants versus Mexican illegal immigrants. Compare, right. compare, compare. Well, Asian illegal immigrants typically come in containers. Oh, do they really? Container Get the fuck out of here. You guys come in containers? You guys, yeah. sorry. No, not you guys. Wow. wow. Oh, 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 oh. You think that's luxurious? <laughs> yeah. Dude, you guys, I mean, you guys kind of get But nowadays, most of them come the same way as Mexicans because we don't have a secure border. Wait, is that a thing? Do they come in boats? Is that real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 His people did. I could tell you. Boat? I could no. tell you my dad's story. That's yeah, tell me. So my dad's actual story: he fled China to go to Hong Kong, and Hong Kong was uh, British territory at the time. Uh, don't, don't be mad. I won't be. Where's Hong Kong? Is that China? <laughs> it's <laughs> I. Isn't it? A, is it an island? But, but it's Hong Kong and China or Japan. It's China. part of China. Part of China. Okay. It's part of China. Continue. Okay. Continue. Hey, is it? Is it an island? I always thought it so was Japan. Japan. That's why I said, wait a minute. Oh. Is, so did you go to Japan? So that was like, wait a minute. I don't even know. Where Hong Kong is Hong not Kong. Japanese. No. So it's China. Okay. It's Continue. off the coast of China, um, and so yeah, one was communist ran. One was owned by uh, Britain, Britain. Okay. and then when it was communist ran, it's like in the the not the capitalistic communism that we know now. It was like literally like I remember my dad telling me like in junior high, everyone just comes and just gets like a sheet that tells them what their job's gonna be. Oh shit. So like this guy could be getting A pluses in math and he should probably be some sort of scientist. They're like, oh you're in agriculture, you're do whatever, whatever. So it's just doesn't matter what your interests are, what your talents are or anything, it's just whatever the government well, needs oh. you. Random assignment. A lot of you guys got picked uh, donor shop owners because fuck. <laughs> That's Cambodian. Yeah, oh, okay. They What's the, the difference? Yeah. <laughs> they got a big pack. It was like, dude, did you not spread it out? No, I gave it to the, I gave it to all of them. Like, you're supposed to shuffle it. Mine's all battery. Dude, they're all going to LA. Son of a bitch, dude. Sorry. <laughs> donut, donut, donut. So, yeah, my dad was like, okay, I'm out of here. This place fucking sucks. They're burning down schools, all that. Yeah. And I think there's two ways that most people go to China. I mean, I go to Hong Kong. They either flee through the mountains, because I believe there is one part. I was going to say, too, how do you leave? Yeah, there's a, there's a part where it's connected, or people like to float through the ocean. So my dad went, like, the forest route. Hey, so much for the Great Wall. <laughs> 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 they fucking jumped out of that Great Wall. It's uh, wet gas Great Wall. Completely different region. <laughs> okay, oh, sorry. And then, uh, yeah, he went with. Damn, I need to start reading. He went with seven homies. Mm -hmm. He was 15. One of them was his girlfriend. One got shot by a guard. Yeah, one got shot by a guard. Girlfriend. And then uh, <laughs> one got bit by a snake in the mountains, Holy so they died. Shit. And then there's poisonous snakes. They got fucking rattlesnakes in China. Yeah, oh, communist yeah. snakes. Communist. So I think it took him two or three tries to make it because you don't wow. just get it on the first try. Damn, bro. When he got into <laughs> like prom night. Yeah, <laughs> but he got into Hong Kong. He found a job at a restaurant that let him uh, sleep in the restaurant after they, they closed. Fuck, dude, what a story. Yeah, so he would like wash dishes and do whatever. And then I think in Hong Kong, they have kind of like that policy where like if you're here for a certain amount of time, you can apply for citizenship. So I think once he got the Hong Kong citizenship, then he was able to apply for it over here because now it's like two English speaking countries. Get out of here. So, so from Hong Kong to here, he didn't have to do the container route. Whereas, because uh, he just did the mountain route. That's right? beneath me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how old was he when all this is going on? He's like 10. <laughs> well, okay. he was 15 when he went to Hong Kong. Oh, and fuck. then I think close. Fucking, fucking close. He was like 20 something when he came from Hong Kong to to the US. Dude, my brother can't even cook an egg and he's like fucking 18. I'm like, God damn, I'm still cooking for you. He's like, yeah, fuck that bitch shit. And this fool's already dodging bullets at 14, <laughs> swimming across, running away from communists. Sucking shit. snake venom out of something. There's a lot of differences between the immigrants, Jeez. but there's one thing that we they, we have in common, that they're immigrant. A kid, every immigrant kid has the same thing. 
we hear these stories every fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> they tell us how they got here every day and how we're not taking advantage of the opportunity. Yeah. Every day. And I was like, not my parents, bro. Just because I want to go to a skate park? They're just like, you know what's fucking crazy though? My parents, not my parents my, both of my parents are immigrants, but their philosophies are way different. Whoa, what do you mean? So my mom was college educated. She came here like the regular way or whatever. And then so she's part of like a certain class. My dad would be considered like lower class. Lower class. And when I eat at home, my mom is the type that's like, you better finish all your fucking food because there's all these people in other countries that can't afford food, right? So he's, she's like that. My dad's like, if I'm at a restaurant, I'm like, oh, I don't like it. He goes, D don't eat it, get something else. We're in a new country now, you can make these choices. <sighs> You, you don't That's dope. And I was like, it's fucking, it was just crazy that even, they're both Asian, they're both immigrants, but even their philosophies based off how they were raised are way That's different. crazy, you're like, who do I listen mm. to? Well, that's why they're divorced, so this is Oh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> but your parents weren't like that, you said? They weren't? Nah, they came up, Japan's a wealthy country, dude. Oh, they, so this guy, oh, sorry, Mr. Fucking Ponytail Man. No wonder he's out here fucking Mr. Fancy. They come in airplanes and shit, oh, bro. Shit. Yeah. Your dad got here like this. Nah, no, like the <gasps> oh, ready to work. <laughs> His dad got here like, oh, fuck. The broke ones came here like cowboy days. Oh, yeah, the cowboy days. So that's why it's like, a lot. No, but you know what's funny, though? My buddies, um, who's like ancestors right they're they're japanese they came through mexico first because they heard that it was easier to go to yeah. mexico and then go over the border right but that's when world war ii broke broke out so there the family in california was like don't come here they're sending all of us into camps right now we, so then like, they stayed in mexico yeah and then yeah. they can speak spanish they're culturally mexican like oh, yeah. they don't speak japanese anymore so and they're my, just like my dad's part of mexico there's a couple uh, lingering around and you're just like, yo, what's going on here? And they're fucking Mexican. Yeah. And you're like, oh, but they're fucking Asian. Yeah. And they fucking accept the whole, you know, the carrier or whatever they fucking, pichi chino, tu madre, cabrón. I'm like, <laughs> You responded with a fucking quick, you know, baby. Yeah, Jill's next door neighbor is a Japanese lady. Oh, Doesn't even know how to speak English. Just <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> no, I trip out when, when, when Paisas like work for like Asian companies and they just like pick up on the language too. And I'm just like, oh shit, you speak fucking Japanese? At Golden Deli, there's a, a Mexican server that speaks like perfect Vietnamese. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's, that's what right. I'm saying, dude. They yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. they learn. He came by container. They just pick it. <laughs> we learn that faster than we learn English. They're just like, that's not this. <laughs> it's, it's similar to Spanish code. Like, <laughs> Vietnamese. Yeah, dude, <Vietnamese. laughs> yeah, so I would say that uh, there's a lot of, uh, I think the difference that I've noticed, this is what I've noticed. I've noticed that uh, uh, Asian immigrants, like, they're not really like focusing on being the workers. They want to be more the owners. I've noticed. I've noticed that you guys are always like <clears throat> starting businesses and starting like how do how do I own this? How do we own? How do we control this so we can help each other be here? Mm -hmm. That's one thing I know. Like you guys are more united when it comes to that. Uh, Latinos are just like I'm just gonna bust my ass and work hard and then if you become like a manager instead of helping They're just like nah, like, hey, earn it cabron. That's what I heard. That's why I got it you, you know So they're I, still bringing them down. It's like bro help them out. You're a manager now. I was like hey cabron, ponte las pilas, cabron. And it's like dude, that's fucked up. You're supposed to help us. So we kind of like don't really it's not that we don't help but we do like Want the other person we don't want the other person to though Suffer the way we yeah, suffer, yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. why do you get to suffer? You gotta way? earn it, like me. Yeah, that's the only thing that I've noticed that our in my family is like, or in my culture is like, they want you to earn it by suffering the way they did it, instead of just like, mm. what if I'm the one that's suffering and not now they don't have to suffer? They don't think like that. Mm. Just, when I was in a, my social psych class in college, right, a lot of the different cultures were like talking about our struggles in college. The Asian kids were complaining like, oh, our parents want us to be doctors and lawyers and shit, right? And then the Latinos were saying like, um, when, we, when we go back home, they make fun of us for going to college. They, mm -hmm. And then they go, when are you gonna get a job? And then they're like, our uncles call us gay because we're, <laughs> we're not working like men. And I'm like, oh shit, you guys have a whole different yeah. kind of thing. Anything, yeah, yeah, you do proper, they think it's gay. <laughs> 
Anything you do, probably you're tucking your shirt, being you hot those niggas. Like, dude, I'm fucking trying to get a job. <laughs> tucking like, your I, shirt. Why would that be gay? It's like, why are you wearing a suit? Fool, I remember I blew my nose on a Kleenex, not a napkin, a Kleenex. I opened the wrap, my dad, being you gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, my nose, someone fucked me. Someone fucked me. What? What did I have to get <laughs> fucked every time? <laughs> he ripped me up when he saw a band aid on my body. He's like, I bet he was with you guys, my dog. Please don't hurt because. Someone's gonna fuck me. What? Someone's gonna fuck me. <laughs> Why am I always getting fucked? And this is like, we need to have your dad here, dude. He's the best. Dad is like fucking the worst. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> <I swear. laughs> At my grandpa's funeral, he fucking said that shit. Like, there's gonna be a body. I don't want you to be. Hi, my grandpa. <laughs> Somebody fuck me. The whole funeral, I couldn't even get sad because I'm like, why do I want to get fucked all the time, dude? What's wrong with me, dude? I keep trying to get fucked. Like, he just kept going with gay. Everything was gay. Inchy gay, dude. <laughs> Inchy gay guy, yeah. What does he think of your brother? My brothers? Yeah. No, I for me, it's like I'm the first, I'm the punching bag. I'm so the you one have all the attack. expectation put on you. I think so. He, I, he was like the, my, the first test bunny to be like, I'm a fucking say so, whatever. So and I think, I think that is because I can handle it. So he's and nicer he to your brothers? Oh, yeah, he's careful about what to say with the brothers and this and that. My baby brother is like, he treats him like fucking. Like a princess? He can do anything. He can break. I've never even really? seen him get spanked. You know what I mean? Yeah, so man. shit like that that I'm just that's like, nice. yo, that's fucking crazy. Like, but I think he learned that it doesn't help. It doesn't, you know, <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> well, he <laughs> fucked up on you. <laughs> Dude, I used to get it all the time. But honestly, I, I think I, I showed him that I can handle it. I've never like, uh, yeah. I mean, in middle school, I was like, you know, locking myself in the room, listening to Lincoln Park, like, fuck you, dude. You don't get me, man. You don't get me. Bro, you don't get me. me. Yeah, my dad was just not understanding. Hey, why are you uh, music? Can I fuck me? <laughs> All this music, I have my feelings in my heart. And like, my heart. <laughs> well, you got the stress up. Whenever we took the family field trip, oh, like, yeah. family trips, like go to the lake or something, I would have the headphones on and I would just get in this dark world of just looking at him and I was like hearing these lyrics. I'm like, yeah, you don't fucking get me, dude. <laughs> you don't fucking get me. Oh my God. And my dad is just looking at me. Hey, why you keep looking at Kikeda? Kikeda is I'm like, oh, nothing, dude. Just fucking want to punch you in the face right now. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but yeah, I mean, I noticed that immigrants are different like in that. I don't know, I don't know, I might be wrong, but I, I have noticed my Asian friends, when their parents, but we all, one thing that we do have the same is we just come here to work and take advantage of being here. One like, I don't know if you remember one that. One thing I do notice about Asian immigrants though, there is a huge uh, emphasis on like upward mobility. In terms like of, here's a chance, like, do fucking better each time. And like, yeah. and, and also like constantly try to move up like your financial, your socioeconomic status. Whereas a lot of the other immigrants I see, it's like, oh, this is a cool neighborhood. We'll settle down here and oh, then yeah, uh, yeah. let's get comfortable here and kind of build sideways. But what I've seen, it's like they'll come here and then maybe they're like in the hood of the SGV and they're like in Omani and they're like, okay, then I'll move to Rosemead and yeah, then Monterey Park better, and then right? Arcadia yeah, and then yeah. Diamond Bar. Like they, yeah. it's just constant, 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 constant. Yeah, I think that comes from like people who didn't have anything and they want all of it. Like that was, that's definitely my family that's here. Cause my family that's in Mexico, they're, chill they're like no we're good where we're at they don't really want to grow they're just kind of like yeah, chill but the family here is like i want all of it like i want to be and i want to get as much as i can from this country like you know yeah but so i yeah i, I, agree, I agree what you're saying and my dad's always like that it's like yo you gotta think bigger like fuck just being comfortable he's mm -hmm. like never comfortable you always get think bigger 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 which has a lot of pressure to me, dude. <laughs> Does anybody in your, your family or extended family have uh, the immigrant sentiment where like uh, a part of, well, maybe it's coming from Southern California too, that part of this land used to be like Mexico? Is, is that, has that? Oh, they, they, they'll say like between them, I don't even know why, this is our land, cabrón. This is when they drink, they say, bitch, you cabrón. California is Mexico, cabrón. I don't care what they say. And then, but that's just them talking shit, but yeah. do they, go out there and march? Do they go out and vote? Do they go out and fucking fight for like 
if this is like, no, they just talk the shit, but they don't really like, but they do have a feeling like that. They just used to be in Mexico. Cause I could, I could see that as like a, a unique difference too, right? Asians come here, it's like, this is, we're immigrants, you yeah. know, like this is like yeah. a different land. Yeah. Whereas like with Mexico, it's like, yeah, dude, this, this used to be Mexico. It is a trip when, um, it is a trip when, when you're like, when you think about it, you're like, nah, that's fucking wild that this used to be. You know, Mexico and stuff. Pico like Riviera. You, you can, yeah, you can tell because uh, Mexicans, we know what to do with the stuff that's here. Mm. Like the certain plants, certain things, we know like, oh, you can do, yeah, you can do this. Like for like- Oh, a, cause like the terrain is like the same. So in, in Arizona, yeah. when you're rocking around, like paisas, they know how, to, you will never die of thirst in, Mex in, in Arizona. They'll squeeze out a cactus yeah, or exactly. something. They know how to fucking squeeze, you know how to cut it the certain way, the angle of the cactus to get the main stuff out of it. Like the little stuff on top, the little like, uh, I don't even know what it's called. Yes. The little fruits, my mom just fucking with her hand. Everybody needs a little rock or a little stick to pull it out. My mom with their hand and then she can kind of peel it with her hands and shit. Wow. Just the little red thing? Little red thing. Oh. Cause she's from that terrain. She's the yeah. same terrain as Mexico so it's like, so we know how to like uh, we knew we know how to use this land and Mexicans right. look cool on a horse White people are just trying to figure it out <laughs> Mexicans look cool on a horse when you put an Asian on a horse. It looks it, it looks uh, weird Mongolians yeah. Oh, if we're wearing the shit though, yeah, yeah. but like in our yeah, normal yeah. clothes we're wear If we're just wearing our normal clothes It looks like we're like on a trail yeah. and then they're showing us that's the national park and yeah. that's fucking Grand Canyon You know, I remember the first time I was on a horse. It was so gay <laughs> because yeah, because my grandpa like was riding the horse and I was in the back and then it was just like It was yeah. that movement of like so you're fucking your grandpa <laughs> So I felt like the whole time I was fucking my grandpa and I was just kind of grabbing him and then my grandpa after a while I was like, oh my god, that way So I gotta grab his arms yeah, and shit cuz he you're felt just, You're <laughs> just doing this shit right Dude, he felt me just grabbing his waist and I think he was just like didn't notice it. He's like Hey <laughs> and I'm just like, all right, fuck it. Start grabbing the back I of his head. Just kept fucking doing yeah. this move right there. Like, yeah, back of his neck. <laughs> 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 Imagine back of his neck. <laughs> 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 Comes back. Hey, <laughs> Put your hands on his low back. Like, oh shit. <laughs> Comes back home and tells my dad. Your son is a gay guy. Fuck me, get ching out about it. So yeah, I feel like also with when it comes to at least when it comes to being illegal. Do you know a lot of Asian illegal immigrants in general? But if you do, do you know many that came here multiple times illegally? Because for Mexicans, you can kind of go back and forth. Yeah, have oh, true. Oh, yeah. true. Here, here, here. My aunt's been like coming in and out, so we kind of. I remember. I remember when I was working at the restaurant, like uh, one of the guys, the Mexican dudes working in the back, were like, "Oh man, my wife's sick. I gotta go back." And we're like, "Oh shit!" And I see him the next day, and I was like, oh, "I thought you're going to Mexico." He goes, "I did," and I'm like, "What? You didn't even? You just got back?" He goes, "Yeah, I had to go back." Fucking send her some money, do this, do that. They didn't even yeah. sleep. So, so he just went, did his shit, came right back. That's tight. And I'm like, what the fuck? My dad used to bust a bunch of those moves. Yeah. Like somebody, emergency. family emergency, just fucking. But the thing is, like, he'll take us with him. And it's like, motherfucker, you could have just done this yourself. <laughs> but he always just wakes us up at three in the morning. Hey, your grandpa's sick, let's go. He had a heart attack. And we fucking drove Damn. to Mexico at fucking three in the morning. I was like, you don't have school tomorrow, right? You know what I find is interesting from the immigrant experience? Uh, and again, tell me if this happens in the Latino community. But, um, like, because my, for example, my mom was one of the few of like eight, she was like one of two that made it to America. Yeah. Right, and America is like you know land of dreams, and opportunity. Oh, you're making American dollars. The economy is very different from like Vietnam and stuff. Yeah. Every time she goes back, low key, it feels like a big front. Like she's because she's always sending every single month. She'd be sending a little bit of her oh, paycheck, yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit of her money. So when she goes back, she's like the one who made it, and she's yeah. like rich in into some like crazy degree that we obviously aren't. Yeah, but she's got to hold that front. She's gotta be able to provide for like everybody in the yeah, extended family and stuff yeah. like that. Do they hold her on that standard too? They do, but I also think she like built that. Yeah. Like herself, that she like concocted it based off. She's all like, like yeah, you know I went to America, saying? made it. Fuck, it was hard, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> That's tough. Yeah, because they don't understand that like being rich, uh, uh, being rich in like Mexico with that money is not the same in, Me in the United States. In the United States, we're not rich, we're just barely making it. Yeah. We're like right here. But then when we go over there, obviously we have more than them than they do. But like we'll we'll show up and we'll have that 
my mom would bring clothes from here, like shit that doesn't fit me. Yeah. And over there, like the whole little village would come and she'll give it out. And it looked like we were out here giving turkeys. Bro, like, I feel like it's exactly. the- Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's that same that same feeling. I, but, but, but it just felt like pressure because she's all like, we gotta keep doing good. I feel like it's the opposite for my Japanese relatives. They look at me and go, oh, you poor thing. And I'm getting the turkeys from them. Right, because they, they, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they- Poor Americans. He goes, do you have to deal with school shootings? And yeah, then you're like, oh, fuck, like, why don't you stay here? We don't have any crime yeah. and it's nice. And you, you know what's crazy? We're not having though? sex. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy? When, when I would go back to, to Mexico, I felt like they were happier in Mexico mm. for some reason. I feel like Mexico, they were happier um, because people were so laid back and they weren't really stressed out. That's one thing I did notice. My dad's always stressed out. He always needs this. Something's always need to be done, paid. In Mexico, everything's paid. Like everybody owns their house. You know what I mean? They're just yeah. they're just living, just to live. Like they're making money just to eat and and pay. They don't really. They're not really stressing out. I've seen like that with uh, my girl's family. A lot of them will come over from El Salvador to California for a while, build a family or whatever. And then as they get older, they're like, I'm gonna go back to El Salvador. Yeah. Like I'm just gonna kick it over there. I got my. I made my money. Yeah. I can buy a house out there. I kick my feet up and just relax. And if I don't like it, I can come back. But it seems like that's a sentiment. Like they just want to, like you said, like be live a little more laid back and not have to worry about. I think that's every immigrant's dream. Like in our generation, I feel like there was a lot of immigrants that just came, gonna come get some money and then go back. But then what happened? What fucked them up was us. <laughs> we enjoyed yeah. this life that we weren't gonna go back. Yeah. And they're like, well, fuck, I don't want to leave, live over there without my kids. So now they're here because of us. Mm. You know, I've noticed that. Yeah. Like, a lot of them just said, fuck it, they're, they're here, this is where our life is at. And they already adapted to the society. I kind of understand how to move around, you know? I think it was just tough for uh, for me. I think it was tough growing up because it's like, uh, they came here not figuring out how this works. And like, I don't know either. So we're both trying to be like, how does this work? That's a, I think an immigrant connection. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Cause it's like, my dad's over here like, hey, get you now, what, what are they asking for? The credit, get, get credit, get. And I'm just like, bro, I'm in kinder. Like, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I'm in kinder. And then my dad gets, I'm like six. They're, they're giving me all these like terminology. Yeah, you gotta go in, you gotta get a loan and what's your credit score and you're right. And I'm just kind of like, okay, to, to uh, your score that the credit <laughs> Cabron, you know English or no? Why you go to school, Cabron? If you don't know, what the, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. How do you not know? <laughs> you go to school, Cabron. I'm in kid. I just learned fucking red and blue. God damn it! Like I'm a kinder. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? I just learned what fucking four plus four was. Shit. Sometimes it's nine. <laughs> My dad just fucking would put too much pressure on me Sometimes trying to figure it out. Your credit score. Do <laughs> you know how many times my heart was? He, what's he saying? Dude, my heart would be racing whenever there's like a, a, a letter that came in. Oh, like, yeah. Get you now. Mijo, que dice? Que, what does it say? And I'm like, oh my God, dude, I don't fucking know. But then you know, you do the <laughs> stupid thing of acting like you do know. You just make noises. Let me see. <laughs> that bought me some time. <laughs> this was like nine years old. But it felt, it felt good having the power of two adults just watching you. I remember reading really like, out here just like, like what, is, what, is, what does Thomas Edison want again or whatever? You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Yeah, Thomas my dad. Edison. <laughs> yeah, Edison. Hey, Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison, Edison it yeah, he's charging you fucking five grand. <laughs> For a whack Five grand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so my dad would. I would have. Damn. I would always have to be the voice for him. And uh, and it was sucks. It sucked because I was like, I'm the dumbest one in the family. Like, how am I gonna help you? Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on, right? Yeah. And whenever I Dude. worked, with, also like I would work with my dad. I don't know if you guys had to do that, like work with your parents. Oh yeah. Or they'll take you like in the summer. Yeah. In the summer, fucking Chad and Tommy and all these fucking white kids were out there riding their bikes, having a good time. Summer camp. I would have to go to my dad's job because he had no date. We yeah. had no daycare, so we would just go to his job. You sit right there. For the whole eight-hour shift, sit there, come on, just watch. <laughs> just watch. <laughs> I want you to see what your dad has to do for to for money, come on, right? And he's fucking just so I'm just like, this is fucking boring, dude. And the white guys would be confused. What is this? Uh, what the hell's going on here? Oh, the senor Johnson, he has to because he's sick and. There, he has to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. And I'm just like, um, I'm not sick. Shut your mouth. You're sick and you can go to school, Karan. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. He's stupid too. He wants to get fucked. <laughs> 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 
Just kidding news, careful boys is a brand. Just kidding news is the man of smart people. The people of Just kidding news, careful boys, they are very smart. Just kidding news, the number one podcast in the world.